All right, today we're working on a John Baptiste Schweitzer violin. 1814 is what the label says. It could be authentic. Looks like that. it's that old, definitely. But the pegs have been uh, changed out to mechanical pegs. So that's a little problematic. We've already done the gluing. This is just to document how it's clamped up. It was tricky. It took uh, quite a bit of uh, cleaning, probably spent an hour getting that crack opened back up and cleaned up. I had to open the seam from here to here in order to close it back this way. And then we put a sound post on the inside to support the uh, one side here because it was cracked at an angle, which is hard to uh, glue together because you can't, uh, it tends to slip away. If they're broken like that, easy. So we've got a number of uh, shims in there to line up the, the uh, top joint and make sure it's perfectly lined up this time. There might be a, few, a little sliver of wood missing, but and they had retouched the varnish, but we'll have to do that anyway. And we'll clean it up. It looks a little dirty. A lot of rosin buildup with dirt uh, under the uh, bridge there. So, yeah, I'll move this over so you can see that. Oh, we're losing our clamp there. Very little pressure on this clamp. You only want to use just enough to close the crack. That's what you want to do. Okay, now you can see the pegs a little bit better. These were replaced with mechanical pegs made by the Becker company at some point. Tail gut has been replaced with metal. We'll leave that on there since it still works. So that's it for now. We'll uh, check it with you next time when we get her finished up.